Imagine an organism that has survived for over 500 million years. An organism that predates dinosaurs and even trees. An organism that doesn't have a brain, a heart, or blood, yet thrives in every ocean on our planet. Welcome to the insane biology of the jellyfish. These gelatinous creatures are not only mesmerizing to watch, but their biology is nothing short of mind-boggling. In this journey, we're going to take a deep dive into the fascinating world of jellyfish, from their stinging cells and bioluminescence to their incredible regeneration abilities. There's so much more to these obscure creatures than meets the eye. Let's first embark on a time travel journey, back to a period between 500 and 700 million years ago. This is a time when jellyfish first appeared on Earth. Picture a world that is almost alien compared to our modern planet. The land was primarily barren, with no lush forests or grasslands that we are familiar with today, since terrestrial plants had not yet evolved. The skies overhead lacked the presence of birds, and the air echoed, not with their songs, but with the lapping of waves and the occasional rumble of a storm. The oceans, though, were brimming with life. Beneath the surface of the sea, a dramatic evolution was underway. These waters were filled with an array of bizarre and wonderful creatures, ancestors to many of the marine species we know today. Amid these thriving marine ecosystems, the ethereal forms of jellyfish pulsated through the ancient seas, making the beginning of their extraordinary evolutionary journey. These ancient creatures have not only survived, but thrived through multiple mass extinctions, outliving the dinosaurs and witnessing the emergence of the first trees. Their fossil records paint a fascinating story of evolution and adaptation, proving that these seemingly delicate organisms are indeed evolutionary champions. But how did these timeless creatures manage to weather multiple mass extinctions, surviving when many other species succumbed? The answer lies in the jellyfish's remarkable adaptability and resilience. Jellyfish have an uncanny ability to survive in a wide range of conditions, from the freezing Arctic seas to the warm tropics. They can withstand polluted waters where other species struggle to survive and are capable of genetic variation which allows them to swiftly adapt to changing environments. Additionally, they can enter a dormant state when food is scarce and bloom rapidly when conditions become favorable again. These evolutionary tricks have enabled the jellyfish to sail through the ages, undeterred by the world's disturbances, and continue to dominate the world's oceans today. At first glance, a jellyfish's form can seem simple, even primitive. Composed of up to 98% water, their bodies are fashioned in a beautiful bell shape, moving gracefully as they roam the marine world. Their bell acts as both a muscle and a sail, contracting to force water out and propel them forward, then relaxing to restore its shape. Hanging down from the bell is an array of tentacles, their chief weapon and tool, loaded with specialized cells called nidocytes. Each nidocyte contains a tiny harpoon-like structure that can be fired to release venom when touched, stunning or killing its prey. Some species of jellyfish also possess lighter feathery arms that are used for feeding and cleaning their tentacles. In the world of jellyfish, the act of feeding is an intriguing process. Jellyfish are carnivorous, and their diet includes small fish, plankton, and sometimes other jellyfish. Their tentacles, loaded with nidocytes, act as a sophisticated weapon system to capture and eat their prey. The moment the jellyfish encounters its prey or perceives a threat, it releases these nidocytes. Each nidocyte fires a microscopic harpoon that pierces the prey and immobilizes it with venom, making the prey unable to escape. This process is one of the fastest cellular processes known in nature, and it occurs in a mere fraction of a second. The tentacles then transport the paralyzed prey to the mouth arms, where it is further broken down into manageable pieces. The food is then passed to the jellyfish's mouth, located on the underside of its bell. 
Unlike most creatures, jellyfish have a single opening that serves as both the mouth and the waste disposal point. The prey is ingested through the opening, digested in the gastrovascular cavity, and then the waste is expelled out through the same opening. This efficient, although unusual, eating process allows the jellyfish to continue its graceful pulsating swim through the ocean. Jellyfish tentacles also perform a vital role in reproduction. For many species, the tentacles carry specialized structures that release either sperm or eggs into the ocean currents. This method of external fertilization enables jellyfish to reproduce efficiently in large numbers, furthering their survival. One of the most mind-blowing aspects of the jellyfish is their stunning ability to regenerate. Cut off a piece of the bell and it will grow back in no time, while other body parts such as tentacles can also be regenerated. Surprisingly, jellyfish lack traditional organ systems. They have no brains, hearts, or blood. Instead, they possess a network of nerve cells for sensing their environment, enabling them to respond to changes in light, detect touch, and maintain balance. Contrary to most animals, jellyfish do not possess specialized organs for respiration. Instead, they rely on a method known as diffusion to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide with their environment. Their bodies work to their advantage in this process, allowing oxygen from the surrounding seawater to move directly into their cells while carbon dioxide diffuses out. This passive process of respiration occurs across the whole body surface as it is permeable and constantly in contact with the water. This minimalistic decentralized system allows jellyfish to survive and function efficiently in diverse environments. Jellyfish have a unique life cycle that has allowed them to survive for millions of years. Unlike other species, they don't follow the traditional egg, larva, juvenile, adult pathway. Instead, jellyfish alternate between two distinct body forms as they develop and reproduce, polyps and medusa. These two life stages have distinct and specialized purposes that ultimately contribute to the jellyfish's reproductive success. The life cycle of a jellyfish begins as a tiny, hardly visible larva called planula, which eventually settles on the ocean floor and transforms into a polyp. In their polyp stage, jellyfish attach to underwater surfaces, drawing nutrients from the surrounding waters and growing in size. This polyp, resembling a miniature sea anemone, then undergoes a magical process known as strobilation, where it segments itself into multiple stacked mini jellyfish. Each of these then breaks away, floating upwards into the vast ocean to start its life as an adult jellyfish, or medusa, the free-floating bell shape we are all familiar with. In this medusa state, jellyfish can reproduce and spread throughout different regions in the ocean with greater ease. One of the most astonishing features of some jellyfish species is their seeming ability to achieve immortality. The Turritopsis dornii is known as the immortal jellyfish. It has developed an incredible survival mechanism to defy death. When faced with a severe threat or damage, this pint-sized powerhouse can revert its cells back to their earliest form, the polyp stage, and start its life cycle over. As if time turned backward, the adult medusa transforms into a blob-like cyst, which then develops into a polyp colony, effectively sidestepping death and achieving biological immortality. This remarkable regeneration process can happen indefinitely, making the Turritopsis dornii a fascinating object of study for scientists around the globe. Who knows what other secrets these amazing creatures are hiding? While jellyfish are not known for their active swimming abilities, they are accomplished travelers. Their migration patterns are largely dictated by ocean currents, and they have developed a few tricks to optimize this passive form of travel. Some species can alter their body density to sink or rise in the water column, thus tapping into different current layers for movement. Seasonal patterns of ocean currents and wind also shape the jellyfish's migration, leading to spectacular, sometimes troublesome, jellyfish blooms along certain coastlines. 
The movement of jellyfish isn't purely passive. Some species can orientate themselves in relation to the Earth's magnetic field, allowing them to navigate the open ocean with remarkable precision. Certain species of jellyfish have a fascinating behavior called daily vertical migration. This is where they rise to the ocean's surface at night to feed on plankton and descend to deeper, safer waters during the day to avoid predators. This daily dance of billions of jellyfish is not just a survival strategy, but also plays a crucial role in ocean nutrient cycles by transferring nutrients between the deep sea floor and the surface waters, making these beautiful gelatinous creatures an integral part of the marine ecosystem's health and balance. Perhaps one of the most awe-inspiring spectacle of jellyfish behavior is the formation of massive swarms, often referred to as blooms. Consisting of hundreds, sometimes millions of individuals, these blooms can extend for miles, turning areas of the ocean into a mesmerizing, pulsating sea of gelatinous bodies. But these big displays of jellyfish do not occur without ecological implications. Large blooms can significantly influence marine ecosystems, affecting food chains, biodiversity, and even human activities. Jellyfish blooms can considerably deplete zooplankton populations, which has a ripple effect on the entire food web. When jellyfish blooms occur near the coast, they can affect human activities such as tourism, fishing, and even power generation. Swarms of jellyfish have been known to clog the cooling systems of power plants, leading to shutdowns. While jellyfish blooms are indeed a sight to behold, they also set the stage for another fascinating phenomenon called jellyfalls. Jellyfalls are events where a large number of jellyfish sink to the ocean floor after death, creating a sudden substantial food source for creatures of the deep sea. This sinking jellyfish bodies are a benefit for many deep sea life forms that rely on such a sporadic feast to sustain them in an environment where food is otherwise scarce. As we explore deeper into the world of jellyfish, you can find bioluminescent jellyfish. These are found in tropical and deep sea habitats. These special jellyfish contain a protein molecule called luciferin that, when combined with oxygen, produces a beautiful luminescent glow. The purpose of this display is still mostly a mystery, but scientists believe it may be used as a form of communication to startle and confuse predators or to lure in unsuspecting prey. Whatever the reason, seeing these bioluminescent jellyfish in action is really magical. Climate change is having profound effects on the marine ecosystem, and one organism that appears to be thriving in these altered conditions is the jellyfish. Rising ocean temperatures resulting from climate change provide ideal conditions for some jellyfish species to flourish. The increased warmth accelerates their metabolisms, allowing them to eat and grow more quickly, while also shortening their reproductive cycles, leading to population explosions or blooms. Additionally, higher carbon dioxide levels, another consequence of climate change, lead to ocean acidification, which has little to no effect on jellyfish unlike many other marine creatures. This resilience gives them a competitive advantage and can result in a shift in marine biodiversity, with jellyfish populations potentially outpacing the growth of their predators and competitors. While these climate change-induced jellyfish blooms may seem intriguing, they can also have significant ecological consequences. Large-scale jellyfish dominance can disrupt the food web, affect commercial fish stocks, and potentially lead to a restructured marine ecosystem. Humans and jellyfish have a complex relationship. While jellyfish are often seen as a nuisance or even a hazard due to their stinking cells, they hold significant cultural, scientific, and ecological relevance to humans. They have been a source of fascination and inspiration for centuries. These mesmerizing creatures have held a significant place in our cultural imagination, inspiring everything from art and mythology to scientific curiosity. Biomedical research has found value in jellyfish too, with their fluorescent proteins leading to breakthroughs in medical imaging and their venom being studied for potential drugs. Jellyfish possess an irresistible charm that leaves us memorized and captivated. 
the mysterious allure and enchanting life cycle have fascinated many, sparking scientific curiosity and serving a profound reminder of nature's awe-inspiring beauty and power. Although they are among the simplest creatures in our oceans, their impact on the delicate balance of marine life is profound and vital, making them an invaluable component of our ocean's ecosystems. Remarkably, jellyfish have endured every major extinction event in Earth's history. Their resilience and adaptability allowing them to thrive through the constantly changing environmental conditions. As we look into the depths of our ever-changing oceans, a humbling reality takes hold. A future where jellyfish may very well outlive us humans, continuing their graceful ballet for potentially another 500 million years. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the insane biology of the jellyfish. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Until next time, keep exploring.